We see a lot of things on Antiques Roadshow carved from tusk, tooth, and bone. But how do you tell the difference? Roadshow appraiser Stuart Whitehurst comes to the rescue with some tips shot especially for FYI. The difference between ivory and bone is very simple. Ivory is made from dentin or enamel and bone is made from calcium. Now in your bones, and this would be the same as if you broke off a chicken bone, you'll see in the inside stuff that's called marrow fleck. The long cane here is actually a, a piece of whale bone. And if you look, you see all of these tiny little black dots. That's what we call marrow fleck. So when you see these tiny little black dots, that's marrow fleck, therefore that is bone. Once you get past that, then you look and you say, okay, let's look at a piece of ivory. It grows like the rings of a tree. As your teeth grow, as a tree grows, you get these striations, these circular rings. There's a good example here. If you turn this over and you look here, see those little lines? Those striations show how a piece of elephant ivory would grow. In order to distinguish between plastic or resin and ivory, you should do the following test. Heat up a needle and make it red hot you will find that the needle will go into the piece and that will show that it's plastic. If it doesn't go into the piece, it's probably ivory. In the meantime, though, are we hurting the piece of ivory? No, it won't go in. It won't damage it. So it only damages the plastic. This is a piece of resin. And if we were to do a hot needle test on that, that needle would go right into it, make him squeal. Okay. Any tips on scrimshaw? Because it's out there in proliferation, a lot of fakes. And a lot of it really has to do with style. You look at the coloration of it and you see, is this really a design that would have existed in the mid-19th century? These teeth are all probably from the mid-1800s. They're all good. You look at the one on the end here, that's a piece of modern scrimshaw. It just doesn't look old. It doesn't look like it's 19th century. Yeah. It's a little too white. The coloration is a little too muddy. In modern ivory, if you want to age it, sometimes it will be boiled in tea or in a colored liquid, which would cause it to turn dark colors. What you should do is look and say, is the coloration naturally where it would occur if I were to hold it? The oils from my hand would cause the ivory to discolor. You'll see that there are areas that really wouldn't get oils normally. And if they're dark there, beware. Okay. Is there a big difference in price when you're talking about the difference between ivory versus bone versus plastic? Yes. Actually, bone, which is very brittle, is very difficult to carve, whereas ivory can be carved extremely well and also scrimmed, as in scrimshaw. So because you can't carve bone the way you can carve ivory, typically they're not nearly as expensive. Now, the four teeth that I have up here up front, all from the mid-1800s, they're going to range in value anywhere from probably $600 up to $1,000 a piece. The modern one at the end, while it is a tooth, modern scrimshaw, $150, $200. Uh, a fine piece of ivory such as this, probably 18th century, uh, you're looking maybe six or $800 on that. We have a nice, probably 17th century small ivory plaque, that's worth three or $400. This is a modern Japanese carved deity just decorative, maybe 150 or so. Ivory box, shallow carving, $100. And then we have a modern walrus tusk down here and also a modern walrus cribbage board, probably each at about $150. Okay. If it is bone, look for the marrow flex. Right. If it is ivory, look for the rings, almost like a tree. Exactly. And if it's plastic, it will be permeated by a hot needle. That's right. And if it is ivory, it will not be permeated. It will not, and you will not do any damage to it. Okay, A great safe tips. test. Thank you, Stuart. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.